Hello guys, welcome to Laravel. My name is William. In this episode, I want us to talk about how to install and use Prime View inside a Laravel Inertia Vue.js application. And we can be able to use Prime View to increase the feel and look of our application and build the interfaces for our application. So let us go ahead and see how we can be able to do that. I have a fresh installation of Laravel here. And of course, I need to install Inertia. And then after installing Inertia, we will be able to install Prime View. And then we will continue like that. So I want to open another tab here where I want us to just go to the Inertia JS um, website. And I will open it. And what I want us to talk about is how to install. And of course, here we have the documentation of everything that you would want to learn if you have never used Inertia before. So let us look at how to install. And what I want us to do is to begin with the server side. And for server side, we need to install um, the Inertia package in our Laravel application. So I'm just going to paste this here and hit enter in terminal and then that we install for us inertia after installing inertia we need to continue with setup we need to create a file that is called app.blade.php inside our resources views and then we can be able to use that file as the root entry to our application so in this case we have the welcome.blade here and this is the one that i would like to use so i just delete everything and paste whatever it is that I've copied from the Inertia page. And I'm also going to rename this to app.blade.php. And since this is the place where I am at, I will also just include the advite resources app.css also above here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just copy whatever it is that we have here and then also included. So I've put the square brackets and then I just want to copy what we have here and put a comma and paste it and change this to CSS and then app.css like that. And so I think everything here is fine. As you can see, we are including Vite and we're also including Inertia head for injecting the the header data, in this case, meta tags and so on and so forth. And we're also including Inertia. So that is fine. We will not go back to this page afterwards. The next thing that I want us to do is to go ahead and also create our middleware. So I'm going to just paste this command here and it is going to create a new middleware, which is called um, Inertia handle inertia requests. If we are to check in app, HTTP uh, controllers, not controllers, HTTP middleware, we can also have another new middleware that has been created, which is called handle inertia uh, requests. And so this middleware for it to be able to work perfectly, we are supposed to include it in a web, dot, uh, web uh, middlewares inside kernel. So inside app HTTP, we have a file called kernel.php. And inside here, we go to the web um, middlewares and then we will include it there. After that, I want us to go ahead and do the setup now for the client side. So in this case, the setup for the front end. And what I need to do is to click select for view three because that is what I'm working with. I believe by now view two has already been deprecated. So view three is the one that is being maintained as of now. So I'll just copy the inertia uh, adapter for view three. And then I will paste it in terminal. And this will install for us the adapter for view three and it will also in install for us view uh, three, in this case view JS. So those two things will be installed for us. I'll give it some time to do that. After the installation of um, the Inertia uh, View 3 adapter, we can go ahead and also install the Vite plugin for Vue.js. So in this case, we can have npm install at uh, Vite plugin. 
not really at vitejs. Uh, Let me just extend this such that whatever it is that we have is visible. So vitejs and then plugin hyphen view. I hit enter to install the vitejs plugin for Vue.js and that is fully installed. I need to go to the vite config dot js and include view so i'm going to say import view from advite js plugin view like that and then after that down here where we have laravel i will just after the comma I can just save you like that of course there are other parameters that we can be able to pass here to make our application work in a better way but for now, we are just going to do it that way. So we include view like that. After that, I think I am done with the setup for inertia. I also need to initialize. So in this case, in our app.js, I need to have uh, this piece of code. So I will open resources.js, app.js. What I can be able to do, I can include that. I've not removed this bootstrap. You can remove it if you will not be using uh, Laravel Echo. So in this case, we have some uh, configurations here and we have Axios and so on and so forth. So if you be using Axios, you can be able to just leave it like that. And also if you be using Pusha or, or Laravel Echo for broadcasting, you can be able to comment these ones out. But otherwise, for the purposes of what I'm doing, you can comment it out or you can click delete it. This first line, it doesn't have any uh, problem. So let us go ahead and now install PrimeView. What I'm going to do is to go to the PrimeView website and it is primeview.org. As you can see, even here, we have examples of the nice things that uh, the pre-built components that this uh, Prime view provides and so let us click on get started and look at how to install prime view and since if we look at our laravel application what we're having is vite we can be able to use vite to install prime view in our application so that is the um, setup that i'm going to follow so you click on vite setup the first thing that we need we need to do is to install prime view using N N npm and you can use yarn or you can use pnpm whatever it is that you want to use and uh i think uh, it it will be installed so it's taking a while for it to do that prime view is fully installed and i would just like us to go and check out something before we even um go ahead with the installation i just want us to go to node modules and see what it is that we have installed here. And, and, and specifically, I want to look at Prime View because the other things we have Vue.js installed, we have Vite plugin for Vue, and we have Vite and all those others. And I think those ones are okay. Just want to look at uh, Prime View such that we see whatever it is that has been installed. So as you can see, we have Accordion. Already these ones are the components. And then uh, after that, we can be able to we also have config, so this will assist us to in, in, include uh, prime view in our application. And we also have um, resources, that is what I'm looking for, resources. And once you go to resources, as you can see, we have very many themes. So let me just extend this such that you can be able to see. So you can see we have all those themes for your use. And these ones, you access them free of charge. There are some paid uh, components and um, and uh, maybe pre-built pages with Prime View, and those ones you can be able to pay for you to be able to access them. But then every other thing, as you can see, is free of charge. So let me go ahead and see how to include. So in, according to our documentation, we can be able to improve in, include Prime View like this. So just import Prime View from Prime View Config. And this one, I'm going to just paste it here, just here. And after we have included it down here where we have the setup and we are using plugin, I also want us to just put some space and say use. And then inside here, I'm going to have 
prime view. Basically, by doing that, we already have uh, included prime view. And now the next thing is to just choose a theme. There's very many themes that I have shown you um, inside node modules. You can be able to pick any that you want to use. But of course, there is one that has been uh, mentioned here. We can be able to pick this and use. But of course, you have very many options with which you can be able to work with. So now after doing that, I guess we are done setting up prime view for uh, our inertia view application. And I just want to demonstrate that we can actually be able to use it. And what I'm going to do is to create a page. And as you can see in whatever it is that we have here, we must have a folder called pages that will be containing our uh, files, the view files. So in this case, I will go to resources, JS, inside the JavaScript folder, inside resources, I'm going to create a new folder, which I'm going to call it pages. And uh, the first letter is capital because that is whatever it is that is being referenced here. And inside here, I has to have a new file, which I'm going to call home.view, like that. And inside here, what I want us to have, I want us to use the composition API. So what I'm going to do is to have script setup. And then after having that, then we can have the template like that. And then I want us to just include one of the components or maybe several. Let me include uh, one or two. For example, I want to pick the a button. So let me see where we have a button. This is a button and I'm going to import it. So of course this one is imp being imported as a component. So if you are using the Vue.js in uh, using the options API or even the composition API where you have the setup part, you can be able to include it as components. But when you're using script setup, I think it's more straightforward. We can be able to just use it like this. And then after that, we can be able to just have the button. So I just copy this and paste it here and have the button like that. I also need to create a route for our file. So in this case, the route going to this route. So sort of like the first page in our um, application, I want us to just say return inertia. And then the page that we are returning is home like that. I want to open a new terminal and run PHP artisan serve and also open another page and run npm run dev to compile our assets using Vite. So all those are working. So I want us to just visit localhost 8000 and see if we are able to have a button being displayed. And as you can see, the button is nicely styled. And the reason why it looks like this is because of the theme that we have chosen here. So let me just go to app.js. The theme that we have chosen here is light green. So that is a theme that we are working with. And of course, if you want to change the theme, you can go and check in the node modules. You will see the many other themes that exist. And also, you can also be able to just come to where you have themes. I think there's somewhere here where you have theming and then you can go ahead and check them. In fact, you can be able to check some of them by using this sidebar here. And if you change, you can be able to have the different themes being displayed. So you can see this one is a little bit of a change from whatever it is that we have. I want us to just do the last example and I want to use something called chips. I'm going to click this one and I want us to have a chip that has chips that have a separator. So I'm going to import chips, uh, the component in our um, home.view and then we will go ahead and use it. I want to pick one that has a separator and I'm going to just have a BR tag here to just uh, space and then we are going to save. So what we have is that this chip is just an input, like whatever it is that we're having here. But then once we type something in and we put a comma, it will be getting all the values that we are typing in. 
But for us to make it uh, work perfectly, we have V model values. So we need to have a value, this uh, uh, property that we are calling value inside here declared. And then after that, we can be able to use it. So in this case, I can just say const value. And we can be able to use ref. So we can say ref. Uh, and then inside here, we can set it to an empty array. But for us to be able to use ref, we must import it. So import uh, ref from a view like that. And I think that is perfect. So let us go ahead and see if we can be able to have that nice feeling. So I, I refresh. But of course, even the page is refreshed automatically once I I do save using Vite, so it's not a big issue. And so I I can try and type in some things. So I can type in uh, green and put a comma. Now you can see selected blue, selected yellow, uh, selected, and so on and so forth. So basically that is what that component does. And you can see for you to be able to achieve this if you were to do the designing yourself and do everything, it will actually take you a long while for you to be able to achieve such a kind of a component. But PrimeView gives us this on the fly. So this is the end of uh, this tutorial episode. I believe I've been able to add value to you by showing you how you can be able to achieve this. If you like the video, you can give us a thumbs up. You can also comment if you have a question, if you have any challenge. And you can also give us a subscription if you have not subscribed to this channel. Thank you very much.